like, hey. I don't know how to work it all yet. But we I'm really like, don't know how to work the phones or anything. I've hung up point. on a lot of people this yeah. week. Let's just say that. So That's I'm okay. still trying to figure out what yeah. happened to the live show. It's there the it is. My, my uh, flashlight to come on, you know, because you got to swipe diagonally. Oh, yeah. That's nasty, that dexterity. I just asked Siri to do it. Do everything until I figure out live. Do it, Sherry. From Connection Studio Suites. It's oh, Connections. Connections. I'm here. Connections. Like, Siri, help, help girl out. <laughs> Hey everybody, uh, better late than never. We got a big old storm going. I can hear things talking and come. Yeah, there it we was go. Siri. She made the mistake. See, I told you not She's to talk not to that Siri smart. during the show. No, All right, hi guys. Uh, we're here uh, with Dr. Ken Vihek. Dr. Ken Hello. is gonna gonna help us with some coping skills, um, mostly because we need them. Mm. Yeah. I know a lot of people who need them. Yeah, coping skills. Mm -hmm. So, Dr. Ken, first of all, you are a psychologist. I'm uh -huh. touching your feet and the oh, yeah, thanks. But yeah. 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 Anyway, uh, and you've been seeing you you work with a lot of uh, well, you work with veterans and and mm -hmm. uh, the like. And yeah. how is the atmosphere now that uh, that the Taliban is telling the USA it what is, to do? Uh, you've heard of walking on eggshells. Uh, we're actually a lot worse. No. Yeah. Uh, I've had to deal in the last 11 days now since this all started. Uh, I've uh, had to talk down four uh, individuals that were suicidal. Two of them were direct admit. Uh, one of them was an Afghan vet uh, just a couple of days ago who was called. I got, I got transferred from the suicide hotline to me because he's one of my patients. And um, they said, uh, you know, his, his expression was, what the did I lose an arm over there for? Yeah, why? You know, yeah. it's it's very hard to deal with. Yeah, and then there's one that, that people wouldn't get, um, uh, which was a Vietnam vet who saw the pictures that the news was putting up of the helicopter in Saigon and comparing it with the helicopter in, in Kabul. Yeah. And he flashed back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That that Just that imagery alone. Yeah. Well, you know, when I saw it, it, it bothered me, and I don't. I've not. I'm not an army vet. I'm not a military person. So mm -hmm. if it bothered me, can you imagine seeing that? Can you imagine when it bothers somebody who experienced that? Yeah. Yeah. So the the, the Vietnam vet was like, so I've experienced two major losses uh, of wars in in my uh, my lifetime. So they, do they feel like this is just a spit in their face? I went over oh, there. I it, gave it's all. It's worse than that. And, yeah, it's it's, it's worse than that. This is something that it's a. Uh, it's on a whole different level. It's a betrayal. Wow. That, you know, we, we went over there and did what we were supposed to do. And it's, you know, because the leaders don't have the wherewithal or, you know, the gumption or whatever else you want to, you know, term it, um, mm -hmm. you know, to see it through to the end. You know, we have the ability to, to stop this, you know. Once and for all. 19 years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah well, well, yeah, that's the thing. We had the ability to stop it even before then, but yes. Clinton didn't want the shot taken for Osama right. bin Laden. Let's be perfectly put put it where it is. Yes. At this point, are we looking at possibly, you think, Ken, uh, more uh, pallets of cash being laid on the, uh, the, the, car, the tarmac at an airport somewhere? Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah. How else do you think the people are to get out? Yeah. You know, paying for it? it aside from all the weapons and and you know the the billions and billions of dollars of of supplies and and ammos and and you well, know, they Humvees let that buy and in like the hunt for the afghanis to yeah. you buy that i don't buy that at all Not this has been all. all well too well orchestrated very well somebody suggested bombing the helicopters and just you know dismantling them that way take them all out why not well, why not bring them home? Well, they they can't. Extraction's kind of sure. difficult. So if you have to leave stuff behind, you destroy it so the enemy can't use it. Burn it up, or yep. you take out any any and all things that are important, like firing pins or whatever. Sure. Okay. Even medical equipment, although on the books it's not supposed to be destroyed. Yeah. Never leave anything behind for them that they can no. use. You don't leave anything that's going to provide aid or comfort to the enemy. I mean, that's that's a then violation. Then why did this happen? We have no explanation for that yeah. aside from idiocracy in the White House. Yeah. Well, at least they're finally talking about it on the news. Somebody's finally saying, this is the worst leadership we've seen in well, decades. And I think it's only because they're being prompted by the other G7 uh, members. Right, uh, right. Especially after today. It's called save face yeah. in the G7. Okay, when you've got the, the, the global seven big big country or big uh, actors, if you will, the I supers. See. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, at this point, we were hum we've been humiliated. It's been over a week now, the humiliation. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And just the utter it's just confusion. It got worse today. And what, what happened today? Because I took a nap. Oh, okay. <laughs> what happened today was that uh, uh, President Biden came out and said that he's not going to extend the deadline 
uh, past the 31st because that's the Taliban's red line. Oh, okay then. So the Taliban is definitely, definitely calling the shots. Yeah. That, that's great. Isn't that, isn't that nice? So how do we develop coping skills to deal with the <coughs> fools that is and an the follies? Excellent, excellent question. And is I'm there gonna, an answer? Yes, there is, okay. actually. There's a number <laughs> of answers. <laughs> okay. Uh, and, and the first one is going to be something that is extremely hard for those of us to do that are you wrapped up in this and demand you know information constantly and input, uh, and that is to turn the TV off. Like I did today. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, take a nap. <laughs> yes, you I did, did that well. too. Yes, I did. Okay. What does that do for us? Does that well, that regenerates puts us me. back into yeah. our own reality? It, it helps you to, to get some rest because you know most of us become sleep deprived because we're constantly looking for that new you know snippet of information that we get in that 30 minute cycle right. that they give right. to us. Right, which most of it is it's over and over, yeah, yeah, which just you know exactly continues yeah, to start. There's one, there's one narrative that's just duplicated across right. yep. all these platforms and then recycled again on all those platforms. Yeah. So turn the TV off. Yeah. Just watch 30 minutes of it. It's not going to change. No, the only thing that's going to change is the talking head that's going to give it to you. <laughs> See, that's how yeah. I watch the news. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and if you, if you do want to watch something. Uh, you know, go to YouTube and click on an episode or two of The Honeymooners. There you go. Watch The Carol Burnett Show. Laugh at all. Allow the, yourself all to laugh. Yeah. Yes. Allow yourself to really enjoy being where you are. Try yeah. not to look at the, you know, the honeymooners yeah. and go, wow, is that domestic violence being laughed at? <laughs> right. right. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. There you go. Uh, I don't think they thought of that back then. No, or you, you wouldn't have said to the moon, Alice. Right, <laughs> right in the kisser. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just you watch something that's going to make you laugh. That's mindless. That right. You don't I do that have to think about. Every doesn't day. have morals. Every day you should yeah. you should laugh. You a, know what? A big laugh. Prime I mean, good example, laugh. Linda, would be that the day after Kennedy was shot and assassinated, mm -hmm. the highest rated television show, and still I think it stands up there, Beverly Hillbillies. Yeah. Corn pone, not anything that of any weight. And the mm -hmm. highest rate. That was show. the escape. That yep, that was, that is the, the biggest uh, example I can ever heal. give you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Does the nation turn to the Bever the Clampets? The, the Clampets. Yep. Save me. Yep. <laughs> Out by the cement pond. Yep. You know, I think I how many think, people out there don't know what we're talking about yeah, right now? Oh my gosh, the there's, a yeah. there's a lot. There's a lot. Sorry. It's sad. Yeah. It's sad for us. It, it is. I mean, you know, I'm sitting that lady going, made yeah. some great pigeon tacos, though. So. Yeah, 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 there you go. <laughs> oh boy, now she's done it. I want tacos. <laughs> no, not pigeon tacos. Pig Very different. No, thank yeah. you. So we're talking about coping skills. Yep. There's been so much that has gone on and gone south so badly, and and I know south and going quickly. south the reference, but yeah. so quickly without real explanation. Mm -hmm. without any consideration it would seem to the human life one sense we're being forced a vaccine down our throats mm -hmm. the next sense we're like well if they want to get out we'll get them out yeah they want to what what kind what of, kind of that's that? circle back sake oh by yeah the way. that that's that's her oh, hey yeah. um i don't know if you noticed but it's very nice and comfortable in the studio right now mm -hmm. we just got a new air conditioning unit wanted to thank uh craig he's got 30 years plus experience at ice age air give him a holler if you will 407-802-7159 grace will answer the phone craig is the man ice age air they were our first responders when our this week when our air went out oh, and really? it has been yeah. trifling this week and, yeah. and there was no saving it we had to get a new unit okay yeah. so and they i mean they came right out well, and it is helped us definitely out. comfortable it is house. isn't it it's, it's, it's a lot nice. better a little bit more tonnage yeah. Yeah. yeah there you go <laughs> and it lucked out because they had the uh, the unit we you know they had a unit that to we pop needed. in there yeah. the thing is the air conditioning is having a hell of a time keeping up as is cars are having yeah. time yeah. with the little yep. chips and you know, we have uh, either shortages or or people that just don't want to work or what have you. Yeah. Oh, happy news story real quick about coping. Had a guy that went to uh, the Wahoo uh, Seafood Grill in Gainesville, which is a big gator hunt. Mm -hmm. And they got hurt real hard during the pandemic. Okay. Uh, they lost about $35,000 worth of fresh seafood when they had to mm. close in the beginning. Yeah. Uh, real hot pop. Some uh, some family was in there the other day, and only other one other table, 10 workers. He gathers them all in and tips them $1,000 each. Wow. Yeah. Holy moly. Yeah. 
It's good for him. Yeah, he's just like, you know, I love this place, and it's mm-hmm. failing because of COVID, mm-hmm. and, you know, these you know, people a lot are of, working. A lot of people are, are having a hard time because of – and it, it, I think we've forgotten about that Yeah. because it kind of, you know, hey, we take our masks off, it's over, but it's not Dude, over. We're not taking those damn masks off, which don't work in the first place. Yeah, they don't work. I mean, that's this – this is the other part, the coping skills. How do we deal with us being told this is what you have to do, uh, this is this, this is that, you do this. I mean, we're turning into some sort of a police state. Uh, yeah, turning into? Yeah, I'm trying to be politic, yeah, poetic, polite, sorry. whatever. <laughs> All right. I, I have to call, you know, the Ken way, way it is. Can't say spade a spade. Yeah, spade a spade. I was going, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> it's a gardening <laughs> tool. It. Yeah. Yeah, yes. it's also uh, military. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just, whatever. It's military jargon. Sorry. It's okay. You know, it, it, if you pull punches, you just become part of the problem. <laughs> yeah, right. You do. It is. It's true. You know. So you know. Look, ask if you have a mask on and you walk into a, a, a restaurant. Can you still smell the food? <laughs> yeah. If the answer is yes, then guess what? COVID gets through <laughs> your mask. <laughs> Because COVID molecules are smaller than the the, the, the food smell molecules. Yeah, yeah, okay? Yeah. They're aerosolized. Yes. It's going to get through. And if it doesn't get through your mask, it's going to get through your eyes or your ears. Right. So we're talking about coping skills. Sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> Debbie Downer. No, no, you're fine, Debbie Downer. We're talking about <laughs> coping skills. We've got Dr. Ken V. Heck, Linda Nunez in the house. I am Melissa Fox. And yes, it is really comfortable in this studio. Thank yeah, you again. Nice. Ice Age Air. Yeah, usually we're pit sweating by yeah, uh, right now. Yeah, yeah. about now. Even uh-huh. my room, which is at the end of all the duct work, uh-huh. <laughs> is nice and cool there over there. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta Jesus. love that. Oh, it's so, so different. yeah, and with with that, it goes along with coping skills, Ken. Uh huh. Comfortable environment. Yes, comfortable mm-hmm. environments. All right. Yep. You got to get yourself to where you are comfortable. Yep, most definitely. And we are now comfortable in our connection. So, 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 so. Come on, man. The thing, you know. Yeah, the the thing, thing with the guy. The, guy. Yeah, you know. the thing we do. The, the thing we do. You know. You know. The thing. Come on, man. Come on, <laughs> Come on man. Come on, man. We'll be right back. It's connection. <laughs> oh, there's like one eye with so makeup bad. on it. That's so nice. So attractive. Connection is here. relationship <laughs> radio. <laughs> Welcome back to Connections. We're talking about coping skills because there's been so much going on that's really, really tried our uh, coping skills, yeah. basically. Uh, uh, between the Afghanistan situation, which is, you know, again, causing division between people mm-hmm. uh, about how they stand on how we did things, why we did things. A lot of people who are non-military do not understand the post-traumatic stress that is now rearing its ugly head due to images from uh, Saigon comparisons just to why is daddy dead in the Gold Star families? Mm-hmm. Was this worth it? That is going on. You've got the amped up COVID-19 in a this is past the pressure's on take the vaccine take the vaccine so many questions that don't you know have answers that don't make sense that uh, all these blanket uh you know solves all right yeah let's just there you go well hey you know but the vaccine was approved by the fda yesterday well that makes it all better now well but i have a question why no (laughs) no i mean why do you have a question the pfizer vaccine was approved Mm -hmm. So why hasn't the CEO of Pfizer been vaccinated? Uh, see, now these are things I don't know. Mm. Well, I, I didn't know this question. That's a good I question. He was inter- being interviewed on Monday morning and asked about how he felt about getting, you know. Up. And Is then he the, older? What's he look like? No, he's 59 years old. So he should be getting it. Uh-oh, for those of you playing the home game, Linda <laughs> so, has left the room. Drink. So, you know, if I just, you know, if the CEO of the company that just had their vaccine approved mm. hasn't taken his own vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. What do you think? Well, now here's what's coming up next. Now mm. we're talking about coping skills, so it, it really it's it's a good, uh, you know, there's a lot to work with under the, under the blanket, if you will, of coping skills. Mm. Uh, the next thing that's going to happen is vaccine uh, vaccine mandates, vaccine mandates. Yeah, the, the, yeah. The, 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 you know the the uh, well, 
Mr. Biden called for that already. Yeah, I refuse. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I just can't get it to come. <laughs> Lots of bunch of malarkey. Yeah, yeah just it, the two words don't Yeah, it just together. don't fit. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, he, he already said, you know, he, he implores uh, all the businesses and the uh, different civic leaders to, you know, mm-hmm. consider the mandates now. Yeah, oh, yeah. Because it, right. it's like, okay, just because it was approved by the Stripped FDA away. doesn't give you the right to take people's rights away. Indeed, because then what's next? Yeah. And I keep saying that. And I've made a reference before, apparently, and keep getting called out, about Nazi Germany. What mm-hmm. I am talking about is the uh, the fascist uh, state, the mm-hmm. the fact that we are we become powerless, that we are told what to do. Mm-hmm. So if that term doesn't embody it for you and you find that to be some sort of Ooh. an offensive terminology... Nazism mm-hmm. is exactly what's go- what's going on, with the exception of socialism instead mm-hmm. of fascism. Well, why why go back that far? Well, Just go really back go to. back a month and a half ago to Australia. Yeah, well, oh God, three I mean, days. actually what was it three years ago, four years ago that they took all the weapons away. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. now now they made it illegal to protest, and now they're you know beating people up in the streets. Yeah, yeah, that's always been a fun mm-hmm. place. I'm yeah, curious. There's no way that could go wrong. When smallpox vaccination came out, was was, was there this much? Push back against no, he, and, and let me explain the difference. Yeah. Okay, okay, here we go. The smallpox vaccine is is was designed to destroy smallpox. Okay, mm-hmm. and it was able to do that because smallpox, unlike Corona, did not have an animal reservoir, so therefore it couldn't go hide in our pets. It couldn't go hide anywhere else. Once it was eradicated, it's it was gone. eradicated. I learn it. So the gain of function issue becomes big, right exactly. there. Exactly. Yep. Smallpox didn't have a gain of function because it didn't have any animal reservoirs. Okay. Okay. Wow. So therefore, they were able to say, you know, if we vaccinate everybody, we can eradicate this and be truthful. Now, what we found out with the Pfizer vaccine mm-hmm. is that it wanes after six months. Yeah. It starts its downward slide. Which is why they're talking about getting a people a booster after eight months after Except the that shot. Except it should be sooner than that, because if you're noticing, what's happening is you've already got congressmen and senators who are being coming sick, and that is longer than eight months because mm-hmm. they got the shots in say December and January. And again, the shots do not prevent you from getting infected. Mm-hmm. They never will, no. but they will lessen the symptoms a That's lot. That's what they say they Supposedly will. Supposedly, it does. I just had. Four friends of mine that were in the hospital, hmm. all of them had been vaccinated. At what point? Which one? At what point? In other words, were they vaccinated no, in within, January within, or February? Within the six-month window. Okay, that's what I'm saying. It yeah. drops off earlier than that. Yeah. And the but they also is, had comorbidities, too. Right. You know, and so and I'm that's not going to say it's problem. just that. Mm-hmm. And it never is, and that's the thing. And um, Dr. Dave made a, a, an assumption perhaps yesterday that the kids that are getting it are vaping. Could be. And that's probably, a, you know, well, that their lungs are compromised. Yes, mm-hmm. exactly. Gee, who'd have thought? Super. Mm-hmm. Wow. You know? So that popcorn lung or whatever they're talking about is probably why those the, that a lot of the children or kids are being taken in. And, and, again, parents, and parents who say, my kid's not the one who's vaping, y- y- check wrong. it. Yeah. yeah. Check it. Yeah, I see your kids in the uh-huh. bus stop. Uh-huh, we see mm-hmm. a lot. <laughs> we see a lot. Uh, speaking of coping skills. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> back to that again. Yep. <laughs> well, vaping could be a coping sure, skill. Sure, could be. So you got to watch your kids, too. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're finding ways. They're, they're being uh, pushed into this mask and optional. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the fun thing is in Windermere, almost every uh, kid in the high school has been opted out of the mask program. Okay. Not a funny story, but kind of an interesting analogy, and nobody's sick. Yeah, but then you got other schools where they're almost ninety five percent masked, and they're and still getting sick. And I cannot sick? say that they're wearing their masks properly. Sure, not that it matters. But yes, there are more infections or well, as we know, the masks cases. are, are yeah. full of germs. Irrelevant. None of these masks are designed to be worn for eight hours. Certainly, right. even the N ninety five is just a, is a, an no, hour right. at most. It, it traps so much of what mm-hmm. we exhale, and we are not clean. No, we're dirty people. Yeah. Dirty and, ass and people. Imagine instead of getting it out of your body, it just stays hovering around your mouth to be rebreathed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, whatever is in there, it's a warm, moist, dark environment. Hello. Gee. <laughs> I'll be over what here. grows in those? Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's a fungus, a fungus, fungus, fungus mold, you name it, you know, and, and you know, these kids are, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff that grows in there. And oh. so they may not have COVID, they may just be sick, which compromises their, 
their system, right? But which then, makes them available to be compromised by something and else. And they utilize that it's a term, term slippery yes, slope. Yes, and then it's uh, um, uh, was it uh, COVID uh, complications? Yes, yes, complications, complications. And it's so, complicated because they make them wear masks. Now we have talked about coping mm. skills on and off for yep. four years. Yeah. All right. The the basics never change. It's what we have to cope with that yes. keeps changing. Mm-hmm. So uh, tell us some of our breathing exercises. Sure. Yeah, the, that's one of the best exercises mm-hmm. that you can do. It's, it's the most effective. It beats the heck out of Xanax or any of the benzodiazepines, any of the downers. It, and it, it works just, 100% of the time. Uh, every time because that's the way we're wired physiologically. Right. It reverses fight or flight, and that's what anxiety is. It's our body shifting into fight or flight. So what you do is you exhale first because we have more control over our exhale than we do over our inhale. All right. So you exhale everything out. You take a deep breath through your nose to a count of four. You hold that breath for a count of seven. Then you exhale slowly through your mouth with your tongue up against the roof of your mouth. So you're, you're exhaling around your tongue to a count of eight. Notice that your exhale is twice as long as your inhale. And that is because... When you go into to fight or flight, the first reaction that we do is we breathe fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Our breathing increases, becomes shallow, right? So when you, auto, when you start to breathe slower, it automatically triggers the brain to reverse fight or flight because breathing slower says, hey, the anxiety has passed or the event has passed. The body wants to return to normal. Why do you think movie makers include yeah. the breathing in scary movies? Because it amps us up. Yeah, you follow right along, it, it, modeling. Yeah, it brings mm-hmm. the anxiety yeah. with it. So you do four of those. Okay. And then uh, after you get those four done uh, and are get competent with that, then we step it up a notch. We do an emerald on you. So boom, step it up. I want you to close your eyes. Picture a place where you're extremely comfortable, which we just talked about a few minutes ago. It can be in your bed. It can be under a tree in a field somewhere. It could be on the beach. beach. It doesn't matter. And I don't we'll need to know where it is. You just need to picture that up on the inside of your forehead as if it's being projected there. And then you do the breathing exercise again. And each time you do this, it'll take you longer and longer to do this exercise because your lungs expand more, your, your muscles relax around your chest more, and therefore you get more of a refreshing effect the more often you do this. I recommend you do it at least three to four times a day. You can do this anywhere, anytime for at least 30 days. Mm. And then what happens, a neat thing, because we've trained ourselves that, oh, uh, as soon as I start this, my brain knows that it's time to relax, that you can do a quick one or two breath start and your brain goes, oh, time to relax and starts reversing fight or flight Ah. without getting all the way through it. Look at that. It's like muscle memory and brain memory yeah. all wrapped into one. Yeah. So the breathing is one of the most important thing when mm-hmm. it comes to coping skills. And of course, we already talked about maybe limiting yourself to a half hour of eh, news. I use the word. Yeah. Yeah. yeah use it. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, I mean. Half hour talking head stuff. Okay. Half hour of trying to get yourself up to date with, mm-hmm. you know, what's going on in the world. I'm a big fan. Even if you'll notice of your morning uh, news program, there's always that water cooler section. Oh, yeah. And that, you know, or the, the, the cat up the tree rescue story. Mm-hmm. Something fluffy that makes you smile. It's National Waffle Day. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Melissa got in the car and said, it's a national pi- talk like a pirate day. That actually exists. Arr. Arr. That's coming up September 9th. She did it 17th, all day. Well, just in time for <laughs> Gasparilla, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it <laughs> actually times out very well. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, talk like a pirate day. Things like that. That was you fun. Know, but that you have to have that it's you know it's like the 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 sugar the tempers, have the, the salt and pepper yeah, yeah you have to have something that you can hold in your head for a minute that makes you feel good you know happy uh, whatever it is tiktok video with dogs for I me mean, it's friends i just get my laugh on every day oh yeah yeah okay just a little bit you know? yeah. cool yeah just finished watching game of thrones myself Okay. Yeah, I was actually impressed. All, all, all of it? All of it. All okay. eight seasons, yeah. yeah. I, binge. I didn't make it past five. It took a while, but now that it's all packed together, yeah. I am definitely Arya. Okay. <laughs> definitely oh, yeah, Arya see that. Stark. Yeah. yeah, I can see that. <laughs> all right. Watch out for your needle.
Are you ready, all you fans out there and out Use there the pointy land? Part. It's time for the <laughs> Stick biggest, with the pointy part. party in the world. So get on up, Ow. turn it up a notch, and get ready to boogie, baby. Ow. I handle it. I handle it. So, welcome back to Connections. We're talking about coping. One of the ways that I, Melissa Fox, copes is by watching uh, television. And whether it, and usually okay. stuff that I can just like run over and over and over. Not the same shows like Linda. Linda Nunez is here. She's, uh, she can actually speak most Friends episodes verbatim. Yeah. Uh, with inflection, possibly. And no mimicking. matter how many times I see it, it still cracks funny, me up. Still laughs. Okay. So, it's just, it's my little thing. You know, don't, it's my guilty pleasure. That's her, her don't, don't hate me. Don't hate me because I love I've, it. I've never seen a Friends episode. I know. Oh, no, I, I don't not, hate you. I have not <laughs> until I started hanging with episode. her. Uh, yeah, it's I never a, You did. know, it's an age thing. It came out right at the time I was the same age as, as the uh, characters. Oh, okay. And All I right. could totally relate to, you know, where they were at that yeah. time in their yeah. life. Yeah, okay. yeah. All right. But uh, that's how I find respite. A lot of times I'll turn on, say, the uh, classic television channels, Antenna oh. TV, oh. Me TV, and I will watch the fun stuff. Now, we mentioned about the honeymooners. Yeah. Not that. I'm, I'm talking more about 70s and 80s sitcoms or what have you, whether it's the mm. Bob Newhart run. run mm. And there's several of those yeah. different shows. Or Lucy or just physical comedy, mm. something very light. Again, Beverly Hillbillies. Boomerang. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Oh, sorry. Big Boomerang fan. I like that show. I like that movie, too. <laughs> you toes. I do. Um, yeah. I'm the not, music's great. Boo boomerang. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But again, you find something that you know will brighten your day exactly. up and, and mm. kind it's of your go to movie. That's my coping skill. Yeah. Okay. We all have our little uh you know, our favorite things like I uh, I like watching Seventh Heaven every once in a while. Just because mm. okay. it just makes me feel wholesome or something. Is that Michael uh, Landon? No, that's Highway to Heaven. That's they're trying to, heaven. to bring okay. that back, by the way. Why? With who? They're trying to read. Yeah, I don't With know. With who? who I, what, what actor would have the gravitas to play I, that? I, indeed, you really would have to have some big gravitas. I don't <laughs> even know that that, that that show fits in the scheme of what, where we are you today. You couldn't even do Little I, House I on know. the Prairie nowadays. No, yeah. you know, I don't think so. Yeah. No, what yeah. do you mean no running water? I don't think that's What's she running work? down the hill for? <laughs> running to the outhouse. That's what she's telling doing. Telling you that they're trying to bring it back. Don't stop running down the hill. I don't know who's going to do it. Though, but yeah, they're definitely talking about bringing them back. The series yeah. it only ran for five years, um, but Michael Landon and Victor French I always did like that. Oh, yeah. I did too. Yeah, that was yeah. a terribly rotten show. Mm. <laughs> it's almost you ever go back and watch Bionic Man or Bionic Woman? Oh yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, six the million dollar man. Yeah, you can tell that wasn't a government contract. <sighs> Ooh, wow, it it's so some much more. the worst acting and worst cinematography oh, ever. And the ever sound effects. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Just bad. Or or the Night Rider. No, oh, god. Yeah, because oh, yeah. it, it was going when it, it was speeding faster that you could tell because the light was no. They yeah. just speeded up the film. It was <laughs> the light was. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is a, this is how we cope. How, how do you cope? You yeah. know, well, what do you what do you do? do? What do you do to get rid? of And again, you can't. I don't find I don't find anyone that can get rid of all of the news and all of the extraneous stuff that's constantly pounding at you every day. What do you do? Yeah, I can. <laughs> you, you know what? Uh, and and I used to tell my students this. They they have a couple of them around here. The uh, sensory deprivation tanks. Oh man, I'm scared of that. Are you? Yeah, I don't oh, know that I can do I, that. Uh, I, I tell every you what, I, I, saw I that lose myself. Movie there. altered states. Yeah, oh, we many, talked many about many going. Well, that's not the one where the yeah. gravity is. The you float like in a tank and it's dark and yeah. water and it's like being. Oh, it is. It's like a back. super saturated okay. salt solution, so you can't sink. Right, Whoa. but you're basically back yeah. in the womb. But you're, you're, but you're, you're, yeah. I'd like to do that. Well, I don't know if they let you go in with swimsuits or not, but I think you have to be naked, don't you? Yeah, it should be naked. Um because that way you don't feel that the clothes on you. Right. Yeah. You know, uh, but the the problem I had was when they first came out in this area here, mm -hmm. their, their filtration system wasn't the greatest. Yeah. Whose mud am I sitting in? Yeah. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> so, but they've changed that from what I understand. So I'd I might, like to might hope try one of those so, out. Yeah. I thought you were going to say one of them Tommy Hawk throwing places, the axe throwing. No. Yeah. Oh, the axe. I've done that kind of it's stuff. Melissa cool. and I sometimes go hit baseballs. Sure. It really yeah. works. Yeah. yeah. Uh, some people go to the golf range, you know, yeah. and hit a bucket. Mm -hmm. um, you've got to find a decent way, a, a you got to decompress. Yeah, yeah, constructive way to to get a timeout to release mm -hmm. the all this pent up frustration, mm -hmm. which is what a lot of people have now. We went uh, veterans went from angry to sad and back at, yep. at lightning Flip -flop, speed back and forth. for the last two weeks, mm -hmm. and it's not changing anytime soon. No. And I'm sure that if you know a vet, 
uh, from any war, whether it goes back Korean mm-hmm. World War II, there's a couple of them left around. They all are feeling very, very, very confused mm-hmm. right now and mm-hmm. a, a lack of confidence in, in our country and, and, and what they put their line or their life on the line for. Yeah. yeah. I, I ripped apart my f- pool filter today. Just to or hose, what if you had just, somebody that died? Ju- just to hose out the, the junk and just done. to do something mindless. Yeah. Yeah. You that's, know? That's, I, you know, when I get stressed, I clean. Yeah, I do too. Uh, it feels good. I don't know if it's the accomplishment of something or the activity well, you itself. You can see it right there. I mean, Maybe so. Yeah. Look what I did. It yeah, wasn't yeah. that before, and it is now. It's all because, orderly. Because I did yeah. something, you know. It, and it is. He's, he's like I said, he's, it's mindless, and you can yeah. kind of mm-hmm. get away from what you're obsessing on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, yeah, it demands tough. attention because you got to put the filters back a certain way. Yeah, you know, you got to clean precision. them so you don't break them. You got to think, kind of stuff. Yeah. But there's yeah. thinking involved. There's yeah, thinking involved. Yeah. Of course, if you don't want to think, another stress reliever is walking and playing with my dog. Yeah, mm-hmm. animals I mean, are animals, animals are really, really yeah, help. animals good can that be good. Way. Mm-hmm. Yep. So here's a question: a lot of uh, a lot of places we are talking about vaccine mandates that are being laid down and mm-hmm. and implied that you should do it. Come on, man. Yeah. Um, what's going to happen? A lot of our workforce is young and they, as it is, they're sort of wearing the mask because mm-hmm. that's been like thrown out there. If you're not mm-hmm. mad, but they're going to quit. What do you think? Yeah. The, the studies are showing that the millennials are done with this. Yeah. They don't want to wear the masks anymore. They don't want to have these rules and regulations imparted on them, but you know, it's not just them. Mm-mm. Uh, I mean, I, I recently turned on a, a position in Hawaii. Mm-hmm. Because of that, mm-hmm. I didn't want to have a, a hot mess. Right, I didn't want to have a vaccine card to show when I went island hopping. Plus, they've got the mask mandates, and they've got numbers through the roof, so yeah. they're not doing something right yeah. there, are they? No. <laughs> so, is there any proof that the masks are possibly making it worse? No. Well, or is anybody looking at that at all? They don't want to. They, they don't want to look at that, but they are. But there's are a lot of studies out there that will show you that the that masks they are. don't work. Studies have, yeah, I mean, over work. the years. Even a surgeon will tell you it's just to keep my spit from going in your wound. Yep, pretty much. You know, but... Uh, Maybe uh, we're doing it just because we saw the Chinese do it. But that, I told you, is because of air pollution, mostly. Mm-hmm. I mean, some of it's bird flu, but uh, what have you, but... Yeah, most yeah. of that's just their pollution is so yeah. bad. Oh, I see. That's, okay. that's the whole reason. Yeah, that's yeah. that's so, why they started. It. Again, it's not going to stop any virus or any no, anything no, like that. So. no. It's peace of mind. And again, yeah. I'm all about not telling you what to do. Mm-hmm. And you know, I work with somebody all day who says it's up to you get the vaccine. It's up to you get the vaccine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, and regardless of my personal choices, and and I was asked on the radio why, and I'm like, because I work with a bunch of old people. Mm-hmm. And then they got mad. I'm like, what? Oh, <laughs> yeah. You're calling me old? Yeah, I'm calling you old. No, I'm saying that you're not healthy and you're older. I'm trying and I'm to doing protect it for you. you. You know, but take the insult, whatever. <laughs> take the insult. Yeah, you're old. Yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, the reasons behind whatever you do, whatever you do, are your reasons. Right. Period. And somebody forcing you when they, mm-hmm. the, the, the influenza shot is not required. It's a yeah. suggestion. Yeah. The fact that they're mandating all this scares me even more than anything because what's next? Yeah. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. Where are they going to yeah. take it? And it's such a blanket statement. It's like everybody must drink milk. I'm allergic to milk. Everybody, everybody. must drink milk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well. <laughs> yeah. You know, mm-hmm. you've got pre- a woman I talked to today who's pregnant. And she's got until September 2nd to get some sort of an I am not taking the vaccination because from her doctor, she's yeah. having trouble getting that form and she's going to lose her job. Oh, wow. Well, Civil Liberties, I'm sure. Yeah. The ACLU, one of them will jump on that case. Where's mm. Ben Crump? Here? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. They're being really resistant when it comes to this, you know, as far as, you know, fighting for your civil liberties. Yeah. Yeah. They haven't really stepped in they at stepped all. Up. No. Um, this, you know, and of course... The thing we keep, you have a lot of phrases that confuse people now, mm-hmm. like breakthrough. Uh, they're fully vaccinated. Are, are they? You know, if yeah. they're getting sick, are they fully vaccinated? And yeah. even if you are fully vaccinated, yeah. but see, Biden I, floated a lot of that. Just get the vaccine and you won't get COVID. That's not true. That's not true. It's never been true. Well, and it's also everybody's body accepts things differently. Certainly. You know, so, yeah, you have a, a blanket coverage of a vaccine, but maybe your body doesn't process the whole thing. Right. Well, exactly. Maybe it eliminates some of it. Maybe you have a natural immunity. Maybe, you know, the thing is, though, with that, things is you we just can't have, have the natural immunity to the coronavirus. It, yeah, it's like a cold. We build up mm-hmm. we, and then we lower down. We build up. But you actually have to get well, a, a cold first. But before. you could have a very, very strong immune system. 
Yes, you can. You know, and you it, probably could be asymptomatic and, and, uh, and have had it yeah. and built antibodies and not even known. There are so many gray areas. Yeah. And they're perpetuating the gray yeah. on purpose. Yeah. And I'm sure Dr. Davis advised you on this show that you increase your D3 to 5,000 yeah. units a day, increase your zinc to 100, mm -hmm. take a bunch of vitamin C. NACs, and, yeah, yeah. yeah. Clemented and, and, minerals, whatever yeah. that word is. And, and go for it. You yeah. know, let, let your immune system work. I mean, vitamin D is not a vitamin. No, it's a hormone. A hormone. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know, it goes into the nuclei, changes it. And but you need some fish oil to make it all work properly, act, activate. I believe the, that kind of helps the D3 helps it. absorb. Yeah, it gets absorbed. Yeah, it's yeah. absorption. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's this, but taking prophylactically ivermectin or hydrochloroquine, whatever, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't help. Once you get, it goes close. Hydroxychloroquine? No, no, hydrochloroquine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure that was the word. Aluminum. Yeah, aluminum, yeah, yeah, yeah. aluminum. So anyway, we'll be right back. You're listening to Connections Relationship hey. Radio. Hey. Well, the strange thing is, people with that much talent rarely amount to anything. All right, let's keep this train wreck moving. Okay. Welcome back. It's Connection Show. We mm -hmm. did this for you because we care. Mm -hmm. No, it's true. It's Relationship Radio with a twist. Twist tonight, we got Dr. Ken Vihek in. We're talking about coping skills. Why? Yep. Because we need them. It mm -hmm. is hard to cope right now with all the caca that is going on. Linda Nunez is with us as well. You coping okay? I'm hanging in there, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing all right. She just switched from Samsung to iPhone, so she's having some. Yeah, she's I'm having some coping issues there for sure. Welcome to the Can family. I understand but that. I gotta yeah. tell you, I, I like it a lot, and it, it it's hard to put your finger on exactly. I mean, if I had to make a list, I'm sure I could. It's just overall better, easier, and gives you more detail. That's my. That's that's her that's iPhone, iPhone versus Samsung. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, it took a, it took a five years, yeah. but I got her over. There you yep. go. Yep. Yep. And now yeah. she's very happy. I'm very happy. Good. good yeah. Good. So I'd there you that. go. That's I'll new, not be yep. back. New <laughs> new coping skills. New phone. Yeah. Hey, so. Well, since you got your new iPhone, mm -hmm. and we're talking about coping skills, um, do you uh, like audio books? Not really. She's no. not. Used I'm not to a, them yet. Ah. I'm not a big. Audiobook fan. I, I'm no, not a reader. She's not a reader. That's what I mean. And but an audio book makes it's hard for me to sit still. That's and the nice thing about an audio book. You take it with you. You See, pop your you're, you're, ears. you're talking to Mr. ADHD over here, okay, who can't sit with a book. All right. No, yeah, I can't. But you can so, walk with a book. But I can walk with a book. Especially. I can drive around. And this is how you can turn the news off in your car. Right. Especially oh, that's if a great it's Morgan idea. Freeman yeah. yeah. talking to you. And, and, and <laughs> audio books from the library are free. Yes, they are free. As long as you have a library card, yeah. you can download the Libby app and you boom. Nope. Right? And you just go through. And rather than the news coming on. You just right. go to one, more, audio. Go to one of my Freeman, books. Yeah. You know, and you're still this. learning and, and improving yourself at the same time. Just exactly. not downing, Debbie, downing yourself yes, all day correct. long. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, I don't understand the 24-hour news channels, you know, bombarding people. But, again, you choose that channel. So yeah. it's really up to you. Yeah. Yeah. Did you notice they don't play CNN in airports much anymore? Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> I've been in a rolling? lot of airports lately. I know, so. I know. What are you? What are they rolling on the screen? You know, they're not. They're 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 they're, they're it's rolling. It's almost like ads. an in-house. Yeah, it's almost like their own in-house. Yes. Yeah, it's turned into ads. Yeah, it's yeah. Just, go visit this restaurant yeah. and, uh, while you're here. So it's all it's all point of purchase stuff. Yeah. Gotcha. I wondered what happened. I heard that the you know it used to be that CNN owned the airports. Yeah. And yeah, now you can't. Not it, it's anymore. just all mm -hmm. about their advertisements. Thank God. Now. Yeah, that is good because yeah, they're bad. Uh, so coping skills tonight. We talked yeah. about breathing. We've talked about uh, television. Now we've talked about audio books. Mm -hmm. What are some ways, say, at work when you've got, you know, de as you mentioned, Debbie Downer going, if you don't get vaccinated, you can't come to the meeting. Ding, ding, ding. I don't want to go to the meeting. I don't just don't really, want to go. Not so, really want yeah. to be there. Uh, how do we deal with coworkers? You know, that's one of the toughest things you have to do because if you have to be in the office and you're going to run into people with all kinds of different uh, opinions, I, opinions ideas, and, and they're not they're not afraid to share them anymore. No, you know, and, and the thing is that they have about you know soundbite knowledge on it. Oh all this, yes, everyone's got you know? internet knowledge. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So the best thing you can do is to educate yourself and, and have your reasons laid out, and they're your reasons. But you don't have to be on display. No, nope, not at all. And you don't have to explain yourself. Exactly. No. But you want to be prepared when that person does get under your skin enough to respond 
okay. intelligently. Okay. Okay. Because that that gives you maybe plan it out power. in advance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, you, when you deal with your coworkers, you know, be be respectful. Say, look, that's your opinion. I have mine. We can agree to disagree. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I I wish that were true, but I have seen so many people yeah. lately in this new era that we're in politically that i've just i've just for example just had a, a f- couple friends of mine 38 year friendship gone Whoosh. over politics hmm. and it just baffles me that people are so upset about certain things mm-hmm. that they would clear well, out their friends friends but you gotta understand linda here's what happened okay a couple of years and not even a couple of years it's barely been a year there was such division, and people made choices based on anger, hatred, and stupidity. Um, and we're like, well, which one's worse? Well, I'll take this guy over mean tweets. And now a lot of them are being called on the carpet. Well, how you like it now? Yeah. And mm-hmm. they have no defense. No. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. They have no defense because they've been always tit for tat. Well, mean tweets. Well, orange man bad. Well, he's not in the White House anymore. Now what? Now how you like it now? Yeah. What's yep. going on? Right. And they have minimal explanation because they can't explain. Well, there isn't one. Exactly. Mm-hmm. They can't explain that they wanted mm-hmm. that one guy out so badly that they were willing to take this. Yes. And now they're like, well, this isn't any good. But the alternative. Oh, impeachment? No, you can't do that. Or 25th Amendment is even worse because be then you got Harris trouble. and Pelosi popping in there. Mm-hmm. So at this point, people are, I mean, that's why you're, you're, the argument's right. Yeah, yeah and, and I get that. But these two friends, they're not running the country. They're not making the decisions. No, why, are not. They, why are they allowing because that? Because it's to, trickled know. that far down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ken, yeah. what do we do in a situation like that? Yeah, we just uh, hope and pray for this next year and a half to go past mm-hmm. and get the, uh, the, the next set of elections in and try to correct it. Yeah. Well, I think the midterm. And that could be a coping skill. Yeah. Become active in your, in your party. Go Go out and do something. Yeah. There you go. Do something. Get off your butt. Stop complaining about it Uh and work towards changing it. Yeah. Because that's the only option we have. It really is. Uh, We can't get these people out alone. It takes a a group effort here. Yeah. And some of you complacents are not so complacent anymore. Well, if you hadn't been complacent in the last election. Yep. Or, or if you hadn't been trying to choose, let's get the bad guy out. Well, yeah. the thing, the, the the theme of the summer became change. What does that say? Change what's there now mm-hmm. into something new. And I felt like a lot of people just went with the wave. Let's get some change, and didn't really realize what that would do. Well, yeah, they didn't see where we were going and how, mm-hmm. how good we had it. Yeah. And the thing is, you know, I, and I, I hate, I hate to be the cynic. No, I love it. I really do. Um, but this feels like so planned out, you know. Yeah. It, it, let's see. We'll get everybody it sick. We'll ruin the board. presidency. You, know, you watch the NFL, you the NBA jump be this incompetent without a plan. There's no, I'm sorry. There's no way. Yeah, this stupidity. Yeah. There is no way you can be this stupid, exactly, yeah. without actually being smart. Yeah. Uh, um, but the pandemic, uh, you know, I heard Fauci say things back in 2018 that it was coming. Hmm. I wonder why he knew. Yeah, yeah. you know, the oh. only and Trump was going up, 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 up. Economy, economy was going great. Somebody was whispering in his ear about the, the Wuhan and it's a hoax and don't worry. And whoever's mm. feeding, you know, was feeding him information, be it as it may, I don't think it was exactly the right stuff. Mm. But this was the downfall and that was just the way it was set up to be. And this is not getting any better because they unleashed a virus on us, basically. Yeah. That's yeah. how I see it. And I don't know where it is from there, but I know that I can't sit here all day and worry about it. Right. You go live your life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It does not you know? make anything any better or different. I'm not making that change Look, on my level. If you're above the age of 70, 72, get the vaccine. You mm-hmm. need it. Yeah. Okay. Because you're, you're in that category. Okay. If you're younger than that and in good health, no cor- comorbidities, govern yourself accordingly. Mm-hmm. Right. And don't be bullied into doing something just because everybody else is. Yeah. You know? Stop Because we bully. don't know what the long-term effects of this is. No. You know, this is the fastest anything's ever been given FDA approval. And do you think if the Afghanistan thing hadn't happened, would we get, have gotten FDA approval? Oh, no. These are all things that are just being pushed through. Again, everything has a purpose mm-hmm. for somebody. Yeah. Yeah. And the fact that the FDA approval now, of course, all your contenders are like, um, 
Yeah. It went too fast. Mm-hmm. You know, now we're not why are they doing it? And, and with good reason, these people have contentions. Yeah. Why? Why Pfizer? Why not Moderna? Well, the paperwork. Uh, yeah, Moderna filed three weeks later. J&J. You know. Oh, okay. they're still getting themselves together. Yeah, whatever. It's yeah. all it's all caca. You just got to pay attention to the dealer. Watch mm-hmm. the dealer's hands. Yep. That's the way I see it. Coping skills. Read a book. Read a book. Watch some TV. Breathe. Pet your dog. Pet, Pet your dog. Dogs. Take yep. up a new Pet hobby. Walks. Yeah. Thank yep. you, Dr. Ken V. Turn joining. everything off for a while. Okay. You're welcome. I can do that. You Linda always Nunez. turn it back on. That's right. Thank you for joining us today, Linda. <laughs> Thank you for having me, Melissa. Lizzie, we miss you. Sorry, Lizzie! technology sucks sometimes. Yeah, I am yeah. Melissa Fox. Thanks for joining us. Sex is always good. Sex is good. Hey, now. Love you, mean it. Oh. Laughing time is over. There you have it, boys. Case closed. You've been listening to Connections. Find tonight's show and replays of our past shows on ConnectionsShow.com.